So, you're a solo indie dev, which means you are forced to be the jack of all trades. You do not have time to master and perfect every field of game design, and you definitely don't have money. So when it comes to motion capture, what is the best balance between speed, quality, affordability, and ease of use available to you in 2026? Well, the short answer is quick magic. But let me explain why. Now, I've been doing 3D animating for about 15 years now, and trust me, I have tried just about all the different motion capture software I could find over the years. I have tried the cheapest solutions like Xbox Connect, the mid-level solutions like iPi, all the way to the multi-thousand dollar high-end suits like Rokuko. And I am telling you, even if you go the high-end and you get the $2,000 suit and the $1,800 gloves and the headgear and the $3,000 magic box that increases the quality by 15%, and then the $600 year plan for the studio that you'll need if you want to include facial motion capture on top of it all, I'm telling you that even after spending all of that money, the motion capture data that you will get from the recording is still never perfect. It always has to be manually fixed if you want it to be usable for production. And that is just the truth. When I first got the suit, I thought it was going to solve all my problems. I was excited to just pump out animations every day and make my game. And my main use for getting it was because I wanted to record really beautiful female walking animations and give them to my character. But for some reason, just about every single suit I've tried, the mocap never seems to be able to perfectly capture all the intricate micro details of the pelvis and hip motions. I vividly remember I found this beautiful girl with this incredible walk and when she put the suit on we recorded and the walking data I saw on the computer just didn't look like what I was seeing in real life. It did not translate at all. Like it was okay, but it was definitely not like what you would probably expect. Which meant that basically to get the animation to look the way I wanted, I had to manually adjust the walking animation details by hand. And after the whole thing was over, I realized I basically used almost the same amount of time fixing and cleaning up the mocap data as I would have if I just manually animated it from scratch. Which was depressing because the whole point of the suit was to not need to manually animate everything over again. In addition to not extracting the perfectly accurate animations I was hoping for it to, the full suit was tricky to set up and it wasn't very comfortable to put on. It's really hot, so it makes you sweat. So after long sessions, you have to wash it, which means you have to deconstruct the pieces on it so that you can separate the suit from the software in order to wash it properly. If you get stuck setting it up, then you need to wait for tech support to walk you through the steps to figure out what's going wrong. It requires portable batteries to keep it running and you often need a special Wi-Fi router just to make sure that the suit gets a clean feed for the recording. So it's not just expensive, it's also a hassle and when the technical difficulties come up and things aren't connecting for some reason, it eats up lots of your time with troubleshooting. But quick magic is the opposite experience. There is no suit. You don't need any portable batteries, you don't need to wash anything, you don't even need to worry about setting anything up. You literally just upload a video. You pick an export setting. I use Unreal 5. You wait a few minutes, you're done. The mocap data is now available for you to download as an FBX and you just start cleaning it up the same way you would have with the suit. Now, if I'm being honest and you ask me, is it as good as the suit? And the answer is no. If I had to compare it, I would say Quick Magic is about 80% as accurate as the high-end suit. But it is less than 1% of the price. In fact, for most people, it's actually free. Every month, Quick Magic will give you 50 tokens. One token is about one second of animation at 30 frames per second. And you get 50 of them for free every month. Let me repeat that. You get 50 seconds of free mocap animation from Quick Magic every month for the rest of your life. And remember, Quick Magic doesn't just do body, it also does hand and facial motion capture. Remember how with the professional suit, if you wanted hand data, you needed to buy the $2,000 gloves, and for facial motion capture, you needed to pay $600 a year for that part of the studio. Well, in Quick Magic, both the hands and the facial motion capture data are just on by default and included in the free plan, which is insane if you are a budget developer like me. So I've actually been using Quick Magic for about a year and a half now. I've used it for my personal game projects, and I've also used it professionally for jobs in the past. And I actually have a pretty good relationship with the company. We have a direct line of communication, and we message each other every month. And when I told them that I was going to make a video talking about them, they actually created a special bonus just for you guys in my community. 
Remember, it's free, but if you sign up through the link in the pinned comment below and use my code ROYALS, they will double the amount of tokens you start with from 50 to 110. That's right. You guys get special privileges because I know you're working hard and you need all the help you can get. Now, 50 seconds of animation a month is usually plenty for most hobbyists who are just messing around, but if you're serious about the mocap and you want more, the paid plan is only $9 a month. Which, in my personal opinion, if you compare that to the multi-thousand dollar mocap suit, even if it's only 80% of the quality, $9 a month compared to the price of the suit, the gloves, the headgear, the facial studio, and the coil. Like, it's not even a competition. It's just ridiculous. And if you join me in the next few videos, I'll actually show you my workflow for easily and quickly cleaning up the mocap data you get from Quick Magic so that you can use it in production. But for now, Quick Magic has really saved me a lot of time, money, and headache, and I highly recommend you try it for free if you haven't already. Regardless, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.